There have been 862 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. My mission, for every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. Today we're jumping forward just a couple of years, it's The Greatest Show in the Galaxy Part 1. The Greatest Show in the Galaxy is a really cracking story that closed out Doctor Who's 25th season. And what I'm choosing here is some scenes inside the TARDIS. Now, quick trivia point, this is the last time we see this particular interior set of the TARDIS, which had been in use since the Five Doctors, designed by Mike Kelt. And this was the TARDIS set of my childhood, so I have always loved it. We will see the console again in Battlefield next series, but they actually junked the set. Some people say it was an order from the script editor. Some people say the order was misinterpreted, that he just said he wanted fewer TARDIS scenes, and for some reason that led to the destruction of the set. I don't know which it actually is, or if it just got damaged when it went into storage, but this is the last time we're going to see it. Now, some criticism of 80s Doctor Who revolves around the Doctor and the Companion being in the TARDIS too long and not really joining the story. And what happened here, Greatest Show in the Galaxy was originally envisioned as a three-parter. So when an extra episode was added, that's why we get the episode of the Doctor and Ace on their way to the Psychic Circus. But I feel these TARDIS scenes actually really help contribute to the plot. And that is in part because of the junk bot that appears in the TARDIS and starts selling the Psychic Circus trip to the Doctor and Ace. What I particularly love about it is the sort of self-awareness of the junk bot because Ace disconnects it and says it's all stupid, it's all silly, and the junk bot starts talking back and also goads Ace on and says, what, are you too scared? Now, Greater Show has several elements which are metatextual and refer back to Doctor Who fandom itself, and it starts here because there was a perception at this time among fandom that Doctor Who had gone too far in a sort of kiddie, non-threatening direction. And so the junk bot is saying to the audience, what, are you too scared to watch this story? Or at least that's how I see it. And I think that is a really clever touch, because Ace, of course, is the audience surrogate, and was deliberately written as a bit younger to the previous companions in order to try and bring in a younger audience. So if Ace is starting to become scared. That means the audience kind of becomes a bit scared as well. It is such a clever touch. Stephen Wyatt writes two Doctor Who stories. He wrote this and he had previously written Paradise Towers. And I think he really gets the quirkiness of the series and I think he's a very clever writer. And that moment is something really nice about The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, part one. As always, dear viewers, thank you so much for watching. Keep yourself safe and remember to wash your hands. I'll see you in the next video. With a new shirt this time, I promise.